the first thing is that we must get rid of these people from power. Anybody that has aided and abated this must get out of power. We must have a fresh broom. They must be removed from power because they will never accept to cut off this chain. They were part of creating it. So we must get power. That is number one. And this revolution, I want to congratulate this revolution. This is the only way. I want to congratulate those who are doing it. I want to say categorically here, I condole with the soldiers, the fallen soldiers of this revolution. And you shall one day receive commendations from a government that understands that you are heroes of this republic. We must cut off this chain, and it comes by cutting off these people in power. They must exit power. That is number one. In our own way, we have educated people. There are people who are taking up courts, cases in courts abroad, because there's no point of trying to do it here. We have seen our courts do amazing things that you even you wonder what law they follow. There are people who are taking up cases in Paris and in London, right, for various aspects of this debt. Human rights lawyers who are doing so out of their own volition pro bono. But this is not about one or two issues, items. It is not about others saving us. It is not about just Jimmy Wanjigi. It is about us collectively saying it is to our demise to continue this. It must be all of us saying we are not going to agree. We are not going to agree that our children were born to be slaves and their children to be even worse slaves than they were. We must say no. And we must collectively come together and agree that that can only come with a dynamic shift that we are seeing today. This is an, um, a moment that is earth-shaking for this republic. We use it and do it properly. We will never be chained. We will see greatness in this nation. And you see us stretch this wave beyond the borders of this land. And you shall see somebody called the Great Kenyan that will be more dominant than you're seeing those Western nations. But we must get rid of this chain. This is our chain. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter which way you move, if you do not remove this chain, we are done. There's no other solution. You can talk about all other things you want to talk, but I can tell you, if you do not remove this chain, we are moving nowhere. And anybody telling you they can perform will not perform if they are not talking about removing this chain. All there is is bold attached. It is lies. You have to remove this chain. And we do not own it. We do not have it. It is actually illegal. So we are educating, Amarex. We are educating. We've taken two years. We spent money doing this forensic audit. We are educating. We are talking. We keep speaking. When I first started speaking, I remember people saying, but who understands all these figures, all these terminologies? Kenyans are not about the economy. They want to hear us. I said, one day, one day, Kenya will be about issue orientation. Issues are going to drive their politics, not tribalism. Issues, their issues, their lives, their collective lives as a great Kenyans, is going to drive them. So I will keep educating. I will keep informing. And you can write me off all you want, but I'll keep speaking. One day, somebody will hear. Because this pain will not stop. It can only grow. I've given you the figures this financial year, the next financial year, the year after that, and increases even more thereafter. This pain will continue because there's also something else it has set in. There are two twin evils, just to digress a bit in economics. It's called recession and inflation. So at the beginning of the year, everybody was complaining about the high cost of living. Things are very expensive. Then William Ruto says, now prices are down. It is so simple in economic terms. When you have inflation, you just tap liquidity. You trap the market, you remove money from the market. So you raise interest rates, your banks are told to bring in more money to central bank. So you remove liquidity. But when you bring, remove liquidity, now everybody says they have no money in their pocket. Things are very bad. Goods are there, they're still high. They have no money in their pocket because you, you create recession. And you fast pace recession. Recession was always there. In other words, the growth of a nation. You stop it, you stunt it, you start going down.
And the only way to solve that problem when you have those two twin devils is to reduce taxation. So you give leeway. This government cannot reduce taxation because they 80% of it is going towards an item called debt. And William Ruto is so afraid of debt default because it is even more painful. He's so afraid. He's so afraid of even calling it odious and cutting it off because that means an investigation and he doesn't want to be found and they all don't want to be found. They are so afraid of all the options. So I can tell you, even if today you gave him peace to form his government or a new government or people want to join, I can assure you, you'll be back on the streets. This pain won't stop. They have no solution for your lives. They are wasting your time. In fact, I don't even know why he's still in office. The man should just stand up and say, Mimi ni meshindwa, asante ni sana. Let us call a general election. Other people can do this. They have greater ideas than I do to solve this problem or maybe, maybe more guts. This has happened to other people in the world. You get to a stage where you cannot solve the problems. You even, I remember in England the other day in the UK, you had a prime minister, you had three prime ministers in one year because they could not solve this problem that had been created out of the, 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 the liquidity out of COVID in the UK. They, they literally printed money and they, they could solve it. Now here you have a situation where if we are to be honest, and Ruto is to be honest with himself, he cannot solve this problem. No matter what he talks, he cannot solve it because he's too tied in it. Don't waste Kenya's time there are always other people who can do this. Get out of the way. Exit honorably. Usher us through another general election where now Kenyans are listening to the issue. They're not being cheated by marupurupu and goodies to be given. There's no goodies here. We have a problem to solve because if we solve this problem, our greatness begins. And I say our greatness because it was just interrupted. We are on our way to our greatness, it was interrupted. Our greatness begins. Give those, let allow those that the people feel can solve their problem to sit there. You don't have to hang in there. Now, just to tell you why I was saying people like William Ruto cannot solve this problem. I want to express the illegality that has done over the last one year in his last in his first budget. The development budget in the appropriations bill said that they are going to borrow foreign and external loans of 313 billion shillings. 313 billion shillings. Those are the only loans that have been approved on the budget of Kenya. And those have gone to development as per our laws. They are even listed what they are going for. In the last one year that ended June 30th, his first budget, he ended up borrowing one point. And I repeat, they are in a conspiracy of a Ponzi scheme. And I again repeat, KCB, Core Bank, and Equity Bank. Who are not involved in this malfeasance. And there are many others. Get into those banks and deposit. These banks are part of our slavery and they must be cut off, completely cut off. And I want to say, in addition to this, that the only dialogue we should be talking about with William Samoy Ruto is a dialogue at the ballot box. No other. That is where we want to dialogue. And let me end with a famous quote I saw yesterday on one of the, on James Smart's Twitter handle. And it was from a famous president from Burkina Faso called Thomas Sankara. He said, if we don't, if we don't pay the debt, the lenders will not die. But if we pay it, we will die. That is the situation in Kenya. If we continue paying this, we will die. We must stop our death. So, so, so before you go, Jimmy, now can you give us practical steps? Uh, just tell us these are the practical steps that we need to embrace in order to avoid paying this odious debt. This is what we need to do. This is the next step. This is what we should do. This is what the citizen can do. And this is how we will stop the payment of this odious debt that you are not supposed to pay. The only way, and I repeat, the only way is to remove this regime from power. And any, any, any person who has been part of this malfeasance, especially over the last 12 or so years, 
must be removed from any decision-making position. That is the only way. The kind of money we are talking about is so humongous, so humongous, you are not going to sort it. And I, I appreciate the legal uh, aspect that you can go to court, you can do this. I'm telling you, you are talking about phenomenal amounts of money. 50, 60 billion dollars that have been looted from us. And I'm telling you, they will buy nearly every institution. You must remove this regime from power. It must get out. It must have a conversation with us at the ballot box before 2027. It is the only way we are going to be able to do this. This is the only single way we are going to stop these bullets that are coming and, and killing our children. It must end. Our death must end. And it can only end with the perpetrators behind bars and them out of power. Ya, yeah, huyo ni mheshimiwa ama mwanabiashara Jimmy Wanjigi akisema kwamba William Samoi Ruto lazima angatuliwe kwenye mamlaka, yani atoke kwenye mamlaka ili apishe wengine waendelee na kazi kwa vile ameweza kushindwa na kazi. So ameweza kuzungumza mambo mengi pale jinsi umesikia akizungumza pale akiwapea tu ma, mambo na historia kama unavyojua Jimmy Wanjigi ni mtu ambaye anaelewa sana mambo mambo na eco, economy yani saa sijui wewe uko na maoni gani kuhusiana na jinsi Jimmy Wanjigi alivyozungumza pale kama uko na maoni niachie hapo kwenye comment section kama uje subscribe na kuomba uweze kusubscribe kwenye Wasos TV au sio mimi nashukuru sana kwa wakati wako kwa kuungana na mimi asubuhi ya leo so kama uko na maoni niachie hapo kwenye comment section mimi manoti ndani ya Wasos TV subscribe kama uje subscribe asante sana kwa na mchana mwema